Hello everyone, this video will be about the drum beaters. There are a lot of types of beaters, maybe hundreds, but we can group the drum beaters by the common differences on this basis. These types of beaters can be used on styles like warm jazzy blues, uh, old sound samba, uh, bossa nova, etc. Uh, this beater will minimize the high frequencies on the bass drum and will give warmer, rounded sound, mostly with low frequencies. You will get a deep and uh, very smooth bass drum tone with fluffy drum beaters. And the felt, the most common type of kick drum beaters material. It can be used in any types of music like rock, pop, hip hop, country, R&B, metal, jazz, etc. This time we will get a wider mid-range frequency response from the bass drum and uh, we can have attacked and punch a tone too. And the density of the felt affects the softness or the hardness of the sound. I have some mid-density Tama felt beaters here and a high-density uh, Dunmer felt beater and I will uh, compare these. Rubber bass drum beaters will produce more defined attack and punch tone than uh, felt beaters. They are often used by double bass drummers. They are uh, not so heavy, uh, so they don't maintain an obstacle for fast playings. And thus, uh, they have attacks and punch sound, so this may be a better choice for uh, loud music like rock and metal. And the plastic drum beater has more defined attack and more powerful strokes than felt and rubber. But they are usually a bit heavier. Uh, if playing fast is important for you, this might not be a good choice. But it can be best drum beater for electronic drum pads. With a wood beater, the attack and the power will be even more than plastic ones. Uh, but the sound will not involve high frequencies as plastic or rubber. But this difference is small. Depending on the wood size and the density, the sound will be deeper and more volumed. But it's even more heavier than plastic, so it's not a suitable beater for fast players. And metal beaters. Yes, they are very very rare but they do exist. You will get the most attacked deepest sound with maximized mid and high frequencies. Plastic and wood will harm the drum head and the metal beater will destroy it. So never use these beaters without sticking a patch on the head. By the way, this is not a directly produced metal beater. This is an excess hammer beater with no patch on it. So. Uh, we can just test this as it is. There are several brands that produce metal beaters, but in my opinion, it's a bit fantastic to use these.
And this type is not a new one. There are a lot of uh, combinated drum beaters. For example, here we have a drum beater with a uh, rubber and felt or a rubber and plastic. Uh, you aim the side that uh, you want to use on the drum head. Uh, so you can have uh, different materials in one beater. This is the most important thing for the beater choice after choosing the right material for it. Because a kick drum beater's weight directly affects how quickly you can play and how much power uh, your strokes are going to have. With heavy beaters you will usually get fuller, bigger, louder, punchier sound but uh, slow going to play faster. So there will be always a trade-off between power and speed when you're choosing the right weighted beater for you. Honestly, this is not so important. Just to show you that uh, there are several beaters which are uh, not straight, like this one, uh, or there are curvy ones, but this difference will uh, not affect much your strokes, technique or anything important. Rounded bass drum beaters will make less contact with the drum head surface, so they will give uh, less depth and volume than large sized bass drum beaters. And rounded beaters which have smaller diameter will sound even smaller. And line shaped bass drum beaters will sound between flat faced and rounded bass drum beaters, because they are uh, in the middle of them in terms of making uh, contact with the drum hat.